How's life, Pokey, since the last time we talked? I feel like no different. <laughs> no different? Uh, pretty good. Actually, a bit different and a bit better. Yeah. Well, Offline's got a new house since then. Yep. You've just hit 4 million followers on Twitch. Poggers. You signed a deal with Twitch to stay on the platform. Yes, You're sir. sticking around. You're sticking with Twitch. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty cool. It seems Very like quite a lot's glad. actually been going on. Well, do you remember what month you guys were last here? Um, it September. was September. Yeah. September. Okay. Yeah, I signed my deal like a couple months after that. So, yeah. ever since then, it's been pretty, pretty good. Was I'm it happy. a difficult choice to decide to stay with Twitch? Like, Yes. Mm. Really? Because, I mean, these platform deals are like nutty. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're dumb. Yeah. Mm. And it truly is like life-changing money. And so, when someone offers you that, uh, I think for anyone. I remember even telling the Twitch people, I was like, honestly, if you guys, like, basically offer me nothing then in a sense you're forcing my hand because anyone in my position Mm -hmm. more or less would take a deal like that yeah um but luckily they did give me a good deal as well so i'm very very thankful because ultimately it was the platform that i wanted to stay on Mm. yeah well i guess you've built your whole community there you know Mm -hmm. you're very accustomed and Mm -hmm. your chat's great like i feel like the main thing about switching platforms is just the community you lose you yeah. lose that culture, man. Twitch, culture. Yeah. Twitch culture is something else. And you know, it's not just the chat. Like, it, it's also other streamers that you yeah. play with. Yeah. When you go into um, a certain game category on Twitch, it has an entire community with its streamers, with people trying to, like, facilitate these connections, etc. There isn't any of that elsewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we were talking at dinner last night about how, I mean, is it fair to say that Ninja's deal with Mixer kind of paved the way for all of these absolutely business shenanigans in the mm-hmm. streaming world and yeah. uh, i guess kind of step upping the ante i guess is to mm-hmm. the worth of he streamers. knew it too i'm pretty sure when he mm-hmm. took that deal he was like mm. now um platforms are gonna have to like put a dollar amount on content creators mm-hmm. yeah and it'll make it so that kind of everybody gets paid more so yeah god bless you ninja hey thanks ninja god bless. <laughs> thanks ninja <laughs> you're, you're, you're doing we it to the gamers we yeah. all actually you want it we all actually signed out Twitch deals as well. I mean, yes. We did sign yeah. out. We signed, signed on Twitch, Twitch deals. Yeah. Yay. I'm sure nowhere near as impressive. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, because I mean, um, even before this, like you have a certain contract yeah. mm-hmm. and like there's many, many different types of Twitch contracts. And anytime you get a better one, it just simplifies your life and it feels nice. You yeah. Know? Mm-hmm. Definitely. One step at a time. Yeah. This is probably like my third Nice. Right. Fourth, I don't even know. Even, yeah. even Dr. Disrespect I saw on Twitter yeah. is, is announcing something very no, he soon. announced that today that he was staying with Twitch. Oh, mm. cool. But I mean, everybody already knew. But well, yeah, his well, video I, was I figured, fucking hilarious. I figured. Yeah, well, he's been pretty vocal about mm-hmm. how bad Mixer is and how much I he wonder, yeah. as a platform, like, if they still gave him a deal after hearing all the shit After he talks. shit on them? Yeah. He probably still gave him a deal. I, I really wonder. Have you met the talk in person? Like, I presume you've yeah. hung out with him a bit. Yeah. Like, is he very different um, in person to the character? I didn't meet him on like a uh, a personal level. Okay. We were just at the same event, so uh, it was just like formal. So he was full on in character. Yeah. 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 He was in the costume. Yeah, because with the talk, it definitely does seem very much like a character, and I'm mm-hmm. sure that when he's doing things like shit talking on another platform on Twitch, he's already pretty confident that like he has mm-hmm. his deal secured or or whatever yeah, I it don't was. Yeah, doubt it. Yeah. He seems like he knows what he's doing. I mean, he's got he's got a Lambo or two, so he's, he's doing something right. Um, your your announcement video was good. I like. Yeah, I liked Thanks. it as well. Very funny. Can you imagine how freaking hard it is to like think of a concept for an announcement video like that? Is that your like, idea? Uh, yeah. Mm. It was like uh, I worked with a a friend of mine to kind of come up with it, but a lot of the details we figured out over like a long period of time and. Twitch came to us with a bunch of different concepts, but it's so hard to nail it. Like, mm. you can't go, like, too sentimental because, like, you're signing a contract to stream. Like, it's it's not that sentimental. Yeah. Um, not announcing is kind of eh. Like, really, any angle you take, it's hard to just get it right. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, how do you feel about, um, I guess, it feels like more than ever now, um, mm-hmm. streamers and YouTubers are sort of, they're getting acknowledged more for the power they have because of their mm-hmm. influence. Like, what's it like being in a position where you are the, an one, influencer? One of the number one, like one of the top streamers. You're in the top ten on Twitch. You know, like you're you're up there. Okay, you have, question. Like, this audience. If Ninja and Shroud are no longer on the platform, mm-hmm. do they still retain their spots on the top followed list? Well, their accounts are still up, so yeah. I guess technically. Yeah. But I say they've left the ranking. Really? Well, because. 
I mean, can they come back at some point? If, if Surely. Oh, actually, when yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. what's going to be really juicy. Yeah. When yeah. all these People contracts are up and a platform, if it's Twitch, comes out on top, which I hope it is. Um, seeing all the people crawling back to, yeah, oh, all can these I people. get partner again, right. please? They're like, oh, I got my money. Time to get back <laughs> my platform. Yeah. But I mean, it, it makes sense. And I don't even think Twitch would deny them partnership. Mm. So Yeah, it's almost like um, Twitch makes all these sites are kind of like just orgs now. And they're just trying to keep their players on their team. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I imagine every couple years or even every year, there might be a new wave of like, oh, no, I'm going back here. Or, no, 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 with these guys. Or, <laughs> you know, now I'm repping. I mean, what? Someone else, yeah. Yeah, someone else, mm. YouTube, anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just wonder, like, which platform is going to come out on top or if it's going to be, like, spread out over many. Yeah, well, That's I mean. That's what I'm really curious about. The competition really doesn't do anything bad for anyone. It's, mm-hmm. um, it's good. Yes, yeah. It's great that these platforms kind of vying for the top spot. And I mean, it's best for all of us. It's very yeah. Influencers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>